Okay, <clears throat> so today we're going to be making fish. They're a lot like the owls we made last time. Um, they're pinch pot based, all right? And they're going to end up looking a lot like these guys here, right? So these are just all little example fish that I've made so far, okay? So we're gonna start the same way we started the owls. We're gonna make a ball. I've already wedged the clay. There are no air bubbles. We make the ball make the ball by cupping our hands and smushing, and then by rolling, right? We can even roll it on the table if we want to. Once we have the ball, we're gonna try and elongate it a little bit, roll it on one side, roll it a little bit on the other, right? That is going to make it more of an oval. We want the oval because we're going to put this on our thumb, just like the owls before, okay? So once we have kind of an oval that's about the size of our thumb anyway, we'll go ahead and start smushing it in there, smushing it in there, all right? And at this point, it doesn't have to look perfect. We're just trying to get the clay around our thumbs. Then we start pinching. We start squeezing it so that it fits on there nice. We can start using our fingers to smooth it, all right? We can run our thumb around the inside a little bit to make it a little bit bigger, okay? But that is the basic form for the fish. Now for the owls, we set it up like this. This time we're gonna turn it on its side and tap it, okay? Just tap that side, that's the way the fish will sit, and that's gonna be their mouths, okay? So now that we have the basic form and we've got the mouth of the fish going on, we start adding decorations. We start adding fish pieces, okay? So to make the lips, we make coils. Little coils are just snakes, right? We make those little snakes. Whenever we attach things with clay, we always use a little bit of slip, which is the clay glue, and we score it. So we're just gonna score all around the opening here. Not only are we making the mouth this way, but it also helps reinforce the base of the fish, right? If one of the edges is a little thin, this is a way to kind of fix that. So we put on the lip here. We can use our tools to make sure it's smushed on there really good. Big bottom lip, make them kind of fishy faced, right? Then we can do maybe an even bigger top lip, make a little bit wider of a coil can even make it a little lip shaped here. Right? There's nothing that says you can't do that. Right? Have it connect to the bottom lip. Those are just the lips of the fish, right? And again, this all is reinforcing that front edge so it doesn't want to collapse either. Okay, I'm just going through, making sure it's stuck on really good. We always want to make sure things are stuck on really good so they don't pop off when we fire them, right? We should be able to hold on to pieces and it not come off, right? So now that we've got a mouth, we can think about other things our fish needs, like maybe some big eyes, right? We can either press those in like we did with the owl, but if we really want them to stand out a little bit, we probably want to add them on too. So we'll make a little ball, just smush it between our fingers so it flattens out like a pancake. Use a little bit of that slip and score. Start adding on the eyes there. We can reach back inside the fish where we had our finger before so that we have something to push against, right? If I push on this, it collapses, but if I put my finger in there and push on it, I'm actually pushing against my finger so it won't collapse, okay? Do the same thing for the other eye. Make that ball, flatten it into a little pancake. We have another little fish eye to stick on here. All right. So we've got a big fishy mouth and we've got some big fishy eyes. We can always take our needle tool or another one of our clay tools and draw into those. Make it a little bit more interesting. All right. Put a little eyeball in there. All right. Now we have to think about other things we might want to add, right? So fish have fins, so we can make a little fin. Most fins are triangles. The easiest way to make a triangle is to make that ball again, flatten it into a pancake, and then just pinch one side. Pinch one side, right? Now we have a kind of triangle shape. We can flatten it on the table, give it a place to connect. 
add a little slip, score it a little bit. We've got our back fin here. Right. We can add other fins to it, like back dorsal fins here. Those are dorsal fins at least. Right? Maybe those go up uh, long ways, right? Again, we can make little pancakes and then cut shapes out. Right? Make a little fish shaped you know, fin there. Squeeze it a little bit. We'll slip and score that too and attach it. But you can add anything you want to your fish. Maybe some more fins. Maybe your fish even has more than two eyes. Who knows? It's your fish. But that's how we're going to go ahead and make